Hi friends, this is Pastor Doug Batchelor. There have been some very interesting developments in the news this week that we think uh, every Christian might want to know about, and there are probably even some prophetic implications. Yes, they were arguing about the Sabbath day in the halls of our government. A couple of senators were discussing this in connection with voting. Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith from Mississippi was addressing Senator Chuck Schumer from New York City, uh, one a Christian, one a Jew, about the Sabbath day. Well, I'm going to play this for you, and then I'll have a couple of comments afterwards. He was wondering why on Sundays Georgia would not participate in an electoral process of gathering signatures of registration and things on Sunday, and I would just like to respond to that. Georgia's a southern state just like Mississippi. I cannot speak for Georgia, but I can speak for Mississippi on why we would never do that on a Sunday or hold an election on a Sunday. You know, this is our currency. This is a dollar bill. This says the United States of America, in God we trust, etched in stone in the U.S. Senate chamber is in God we trust. When you swore in all of these witnesses, the last thing you said to them in your instructions was, so help you God. In God's word in Exodus 20, 18, it says, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Well, it's very interesting. And I'll admit, I feel a little conflicted as I watch this. On one hand, uh, you know, my heart thrills and I admire the chutzpah of Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith as she's talking about in God we trust. And uh, I think she's correct that our government was founded with the understanding that we are a moral people with both a Judeo-Christian background. But Roger Williams understood there needed to be a distinction that uh, is in very important for the government to support, endorse, and even help enforce the last six commandments. You can't steal, you can't kill, you know, the constant litigation and covetousness, respecting parental rights, honor your father and mother, the uh, sanctity of marriage in the seventh commandment. Governments should support those things. No government should be legislating who God is, when to worship him, how to worship him, what his name is, namely the first four commandments. And so I think it's interesting that they're arguing about the Sabbath day. And I also think it's interesting that he or she, a Christian, is lecturing Senator Schumer, who is a Jew, about the Sabbath. And neither of them speak up and say, well, actually, it is the seventh day of the week, Saturday. It's not Sunday. They're arguing about voting rights. And I'm not even going to get into whether or not people should be voting on the Sabbath day. I just think it's interesting that... Uh, in the last days, we know that there's going to be ongoing discussion in the halls of government about what the true Sabbath is, and ultimately there are going to be laws about this. And nobody's even raising a peep about, well, they had the wrong day. Nowhere in the Bible does it ever call the first day of the week the Sabbath. It always calls the seventh day of the week the Sabbath, the day Senator Schumer knows is Saturday. And so... A lot of people are confused about this, and I just wanted to put something out there so people are aware. They, they keep their antenna up. We ought to be watching what's going on because it often starts with small things like this, and that can snowball into bigger discussions. We've had a very difficult year. More and more people are talking about God now freely in the government because of all the troubles and the pandemic, people are thinking more spiritually. And here at Amazing Facts, we've seen more spiritual interest than we've seen in the whole history of the ministry. But we know that one day, that interest is going to turn, uh, the pendulum is going to swing a little too far in one direction, and folks are going to start making religious laws out of fear. And so I think we just need to be aware of what these issues are. Yes, God does want us to keep the Sabbath. No, the government should not be telling us how to worship God. If you're going to be keeping the Sabbath day, keep it the right day. It's not Sunday, the first day of the week. It's Saturday, the seventh day of the week. If you'd like more information on this, we've got a free book that we'll share with you. And it's called, Is Sunday Really Sacred? And you'll want to download this, share it with your friend, and stay in prayer as we are in the last days.